Welcome to Fire Rat Gaming. I am Dean and this is Heavy Rain. Heavy brain's getting juicy guys, it is getting juicy. This is part five in the series, let's do this. Okay, so welcome back to more heavy rain. So, let's find out what exactly we're doing here. Ah, yeah, we've got a uh, thing, haven't we? Let's have a... I should go talk to the garage guy over there. Where is it? Oh, he's there. Right in front of me. Oops. Excuse me? Hey! Oh! Ha! Huh. Sorry. Didn't see you. Uh, what can I do you for? I'd like to get my car. Hey, you're a pretty patient guy, you are. That car's been there for two years. We took it out for a drive every month and checked the tires and batteries, just like you said. Here. It's the third floor down. The service elevator is at the far end of the garage. Two years. Where was he? Hang on. I can't see him. Oh, the, some of the camera angles in this are just horrendous. You want them? They'll be right over there. Ah, you have yourself a good one, Chief. <clears throat> I'm loving it, though. I'm loving the... Uh, Heavy rain, very much so. It's a bloody good game. It is. Apart from these weird camera angles and that, guys, I uh, I am enjoying it. It's nice to see heavy rain in uh, 60 frames per second. Even if the camera angles do blow. But there we go. You can't have it all, can you? After we, if we do get him back, right? If we do get him back, what do you reckon he's going to think? Considering that we was semi-responsible for killing our first boy, or you know, not responsible for killing him, but it, it was partly our responsibility for him being in the road, and then losing Sean as well. He's he's not going to think much of us, is he? That's that's my opinion. He, you know, hopefully he doesn't.
Oh, there we go. Go to a set of directions. Oh, this is going good, guys. It's getting good. Your destination is four miles from here. Leave the parking lot and take the first We're going to end up getting murdered, I reckon. I can see it. I think we're going to get murdered. Let's get out of here. Oh, hang on. What was that? Really? Are you ready to show your courage in order to save your son? Oh shit. Listen carefully. Take the highway and drive against the traffic for five miles. <laughs> if you haven't reached your destination in five minutes, you will have failed. Oh my god. This is crazy. I don't want to die. Not here. Not like this. I can do it. I'd do anything to save my son. If I succeed, I'll get more letters for the hangman. It's my only lead. No turning back now. <laughs> this is not going to end well, guys. I've got the reactions of a dying slug. Prepare, won't you? <laughs> oh, fuck it. A lot hell. of good it'll Just do, do Sean, if I kill myself on this highway. I've got to do it. For Sean's sake. I have no choice. Ready to go for some button smashing. Wait for it. I'm wrecking A and D. Come on. I can do this. Come on. Yeah, we're not doing too well, guys. We can do this, guys. Come on! Move out of the goddamn way! Move out of the way! Come on! Oh no, we're gonna get chased by the old building now. <laughs> oh, this is quality! One mile to go before you reach your destination. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, uh, do you know what? I just did not see that S hiding in the corner. Destination reached. 
Press the fucking Please screen. Press the screen. Destination reached. Please press the screen. Destination reached. Please press your reward is in the glove compartment. The key is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. The key is inside the GPS. Your reward is in the glove compartment. The key is inside the GPS. I'm fucking knocking over shit now on my desk. I'm trying to get this to... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, pick it up. Let's get out of here. Fuck's sake. Jesus Christ, the amount of awkward controls. <laughs> Come on, shake it. Is it a tape? Yeah, memory card. That was tough, guys. That was really tough. I've got like a, I've got like a game sweat on at the moment. <laughs> okay, so we know he's alive. Tough man. At least you didn't die though. We made it. Yeah, I don't know what the story is with this woman. The atmosphere here is one of concern as there is still no news of 10 year old Sean Mars who disappeared yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's just had a big shit. <laughs> Hello there, sweetheart. Oh, what a creepy what dude. For you? I'd like a room. <laughs> for you? Anything. <laughs> Feeling the register. Oh. Madison Page 27, single. How long will you be staying with us, Ms. Page? I don't know yet. 
Room 201. Last floor, stairs on the right, in the courtyard. Thanks. The pleasure was all mine. That's for sure. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Uh, what room number was room it? Room 201. That Stairs one on one? the right, last floor. She's got a dirty little wiggle on her, ain't she? I might be able to talk to him. Did you say top floor? Room 201. Stairs on the right. Last floor, last floor. Yeah. No, this way. Come on. Oh, that is the last floor. Okay. So 201. Could be this way. Sir? Are you alright? I'll call an ambulance. No ambulance. You're badly hurt. You need a doctor. Please, just help me to my room. It's number 207. He doesn't want to go to the hospital. Uh, uh, hmm. Have you got the key? Uh, 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 uh. He's in a bit of bad shape, guys. He's in a bit of a bad shape. You're really in bad shape. You should see a doctor. Must have one, maybe two broken ribs. It's not fatal. But it's sore as hell. Your head is bleeding. It looks deep. I should disinfect his cuts. I'm gonna disinfect your wound. This might hurt a little. There. At least it won't get infected. Thanks. He's in trouble. I can't just walk away and leave him like that. I'll help him first and ask questions later. What does he need now then? Paraphenol anti-fever. Administer only in cases of high fever. That though. Right, I should just grab all of these. No? No, no, no. How about that one? Oh, no. Come on. Necrofrin 100 antibiotics. Administer to combat infection. 
Yeah, let's give him that. Here. Take this. It should do you some good. What is it? It's an antibiotic. An antibiotic? I'm no doctor, but I don't think there's any risk of infection with a broken rib. Okay, I'll see if I can find anything else. Oh, uh, hang on. Yeah, I forgot the <coughs> anti-inflammatory will actually do that on it. Let's put that back. What's the top one? Paracamol painkiller. Administer in cases of intense pain. Yeah, well, let's have some of that. more than one pill every 24 hours. Let's see if he bitches about that. Otherwise, he can go and get his fucking self, can't he? Here. Take this. It should do you some good. It? It's a painkiller. It'll help reduce the pain. It says on the box to take one every 24 hours. I don't think it's a good idea to exceed the dose. I can't afford to wait. I wouldn't move around for a few days if I were you. I, I'm gonna take a shower. All right, let me help you. How the hell is he gonna do the next tasks? Well, we've got, we've got like four or five more tasks, I think. How are we gonna do that when he's knackered? I'll wait here until you come out. Let me know if you need anything. Scrub my back. <laughs> oh yeah, let's just have a little peep. Oh. Talk to me. That way I'll know if you pass out. What's your name? Madison. Are you staying in the hotel? No, I live in town. I suffer from chronic insomnia. I seem to only be able to sleep in motels. Don't ask me why. Whenever I get too exhausted, I, uh, I come and spend a night here. I'm... I'm just passing through. And what else do you do, Madison? Apart from fixing up strangers. I'm a photographer. I take pictures of uh, furniture for fashionable design magazines. And you? I... I'm an architect. Thanks for staying. I feel a lot better now. Okay. I better get going then. Oh, she's flirting. Dirty bitch. By the way, you never told me your name. Ethan. Be careful, Ethan. Loves it. Alright. Are you prepared to suffer to save your son? Sunk about the power plant. Missed the, uh, missed the text. Take your pills.
He's a strange one, this guy. I can't make him out, but... So detailed. I'd say the only problem with the uh, the issue with those models is the their nostrils don't look quite right. It's the shading on it, I think. Was that the first time? Sorry? First time you killed somebody. It always does something to you the first time. Then you get used to it. I wasn't going to answer him. I'm not sure I want to get used to it. That's him. Right You're a slot porter? Yeah. Lieutenant Carter Blake, I'd like to ask you some questions. Wait for it. Oh, oh, I knew it. Shit, don't just stand there. He's gonna get away. Ah! Hey, man, watch ah. it! Oh, look at that. Look. Fucking Batman. Hey! Get him, get him, get him! <laughs> hey, watch it, man! Whoa! I think we're gonna catch him. Oh, oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. Hey, man, watch it! Fucking ninja! Look at me go! Hey man, what the fuck? <laughs> all, the, all the fucking chickens he's thrown at us. Oh, come on, I got that. This, these mouse controls are proper janky. I thought he was going to put his sex glove on then. I thought he was going to do some scanning around. Damn place is freezing. My hands are numb. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Right, come on, kick some ass, kick some ass. That's it. Come on, come on. Oh, fuck that one up. Come on, he's down. He's down. Yes. Kicked his ass. This time it looks like we got our origami killer. Don't know about that. Oh. 
Ugh. His face when he does that it looks like a bulldog. Uh. Okay, what's down here? Oh, is that Jameson? Was that LAPD? Always pack your gap. Oh, he's not taking him. Why? All right, well, uh, Be nice if it. Um, let's do. Let's do the. Uh, let's do the the uh, thinking thing. Cause I'd All the newspapers are talking about Sean Mars. Kid who disappeared. I've seen the parents of all the victims, and all I've come up with is this telephone and a box of origami figures. Can't breathe this goddamn humidity. Hope it stops raining soon. I needed the rest. I haven't been sleeping well since the murder started up again. Okay, so I wonder if we can find maybe some clues. Uh, yeah, let's open the let's open the. Okay. I knew he used to be a copper. Chicken nuggets! <laughs> uh, what's he thinking? This grab whatever that is. Is that hot sauce, isn't it? Oh, animal. Where's the front door? Is it this one? No. You said I could contact you if I remembered anything. Can I come in? Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> That's the Lady of the Night, if you remember, guys, from the beginning. Drink? You want a drink? Yes, glass of water, please. Take a seat, I'll get it. Right, where was the kitchen? Here? Good job she didn't bring a friend, because we've only got one glass. The guy needs to uh, shop about, get some. Get some new bits and pieces for guests. I remember the. I remember back in the day when I um, first got my flat. I think I had one knife and fork. Thanks. That's what shit happens, isn't it? But this guy's. This guy's fifty in his fifties. You should know better. Well, what's she after then? Let's see what Didn't she's got. Didn't expect to see her again. Wonder what she wants. Ask her then. Speak to her. 
Oh, what well, is it down? I just remembered something. Maybe it's not important, but a letter arrived in the mail the morning Johnny disappeared. A letter? What kind of a letter? It was addressed to Johnny's father. I don't know what was inside it, but he read it and then he left. That's the last time I saw him. And you think there's a connection between that letter and Johnny's death, is that it? Do you remember anything else about the letter? Well, I don't know why, but I kept the envelope. Hmm. Oh, nothing particular. Except the address. The address? It was typed with an old typewriter. Could be a lead, you never know. Hmm. Well, thanks for your help, Lord. I'll let you know if it leads to anything. Wait, I... I can't just sit around and do nothing while you're out there looking for the man who killed my son. Ever since you came around, I've been thinking, and I... I want to come with you. Help you in your investigation. I'm sorry, Lauren, but that is out of the question. If you won't let me help you, I'm keeping the envelope. It's all or nothing. I'm sorry, Lauren. But I work alone. How many clues have you got, Mr. Shelby? This envelope. Maybe you're only linked to the killer. Mm -hmm. I understand. It was a stupid idea. Sorry for wasting your time, Mr. Shelby. Wait. You're really something special, Lauren. I'll give you that. I'm just a mother. A mother who wants to find out who killed her son. Are we partners? <sighs> We're partners. Now wash your hand. Just probably had it in all kinds of places. Yeah. Where are we heading to now, then? Is she with us, is she? Oh, she is. Yeah, I can see her. Nice, nice digs. Maybe you better like stay sweet, in the car. We're partners. Sweet house. Remember, wherever you go, I go. What is this place? What are we doing here? We come to see Gordy Kramer. Kramer? The big wig tycoon from Kramer Construction? No, his son. You think maybe he's the origami killer? For now, I just have a few questions that need answers. That's it. Oh, hi. Who love a party, guys? What a joint! Kramer must be loaded! What do you think he paid for all this shiny crap? We'll discuss Kramer's decor another time. Are we going to be here long? This place gives me the creeps. I'm going to go find Gordy Kramer. You stay here till I come back. Okay? Okay. Just let me know if you need me. Music's a little loud, isn't it? Hi, I'm Scott. It's going to chat to her in the red. It's quite nice. No, not interested. How about him? Look at him. He's got his tits. Whiskey straight up, no ice.
Have you seen Gordy? Sorry, no. Yeah, it's not being very helpful, is he? Okay, let's try this young lady over here. No. Uh, I can't see what it says, but is that an up or down? Hey, man, you think you could help me out? Do I look like a dealer? Get out of here! <laughs> This is fun. I haven't seen you before. Well, let's get better acquainted, pal. <laughs> oh, you're my kind of guy. I like you. <laughs> my friend. I, I like you. Maybe this job <laughs> does have its perks. Now I got me a new friend. So we need to find our way up, maybe. Hi, I'd like to see Gordy. Gordy hasn't seen anyone. Beat it. Look, you just tell him that Scott Shelby wants to speak to him. Okay? You're starting to piss me off, man. Now beat it before I get angry. If I want to see Gordy Kramer, I'm going to have to go about it some other way. Okay. How about out the back? So, did you find Gordy? He's upstairs. we got two goons blocking the way. She might be able to work her magic. Hey, what are you going to do? Knock him out with a pair of high heels. Leave it to me. Just be ready to go as soon as they leave the stairs. Wait, Lord. Close. Another one's gonna OD on the dance floor. Wow. Uh, this is not the right way. Come on, 
Go forward, go forward. He's got me in here, hasn't he? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Mr. Kramer. Shh, this is the best part. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. I'm investigating the case of the origami killer. I'd like to ask you a few questions. I'd like to know exactly what happened to little Joseph Brown. Beat it! You hear me? Get the hell out of here! What do you want? A witness saw little Joseph Brown get in the back of your limousine. That was the last time anybody ever saw him. Now, I know you've been arrested and interrogated until your father made a little phone call and the file was closed. I'd like to hear your version of the facts. The kid was lost. I just offered to drive him home. The police arrived, I explained the misunderstanding, and I was released. End of story. Nothing to get excited about, right? Okay, so you're a good Samaritan taking kids home who happen to get lost right next to your limousine? Now be a nice guy and tell me something I can believe. Very well. I'm the origami killer. <laughs> I get my victims into my car. I drown them in rainwater. Then I dump them on a wasteland with an origami figure in one hand and an orchid on their chest. I do that because I'm bored, Mr. Shelby. And it's a creative and entertaining way of having fun. Is that good enough for you? Or do you want more? This interview is over. Get rid of this clown! It's a dangerous game you're playing, Kramer. Do you know who my father is? He only has to lift one finger and you won't wake up tomorrow morning. You're the one that should be afraid, Mr. Shelby. Not me. So part of me there actually, I laughed when he said it, but thinking about what he said, He's bored. I mean, he's a little bit odd, isn't he? <laughs> I laughed initially because I thought it was hilarious. But now thinking about it, he possibly could be.
It looks inviting, doesn't it? It's like a holiday home. Home from home. There's a butterfly down there, look. I reckon we'll go towards the power. Let's see if the, um, the discharge is there. Why do these butterflies mean? They are, I think they mean something. I don't know what though. Now where am I supposed to go? There must be a clue or something. The origami figure was in the form of a butterfly. So, am I looking for a butterfly? There's a butterfly there, Dippy. It might be a trap. I had better be careful. The main entrance is blocked up. There must be another entrance somewhere. This is the old Pico power station. I thought it was abandoned. There's got to be a way into the building. Might be able to find an entrance if I go around the building. Alright. Well, I don't think we can. We can try. Let's try and go this way. No, no. Here we go. I can't go under there, so. Well, we've actually got to go through here, boy. This is going to be rough. Ah. Electrical condensers. Going by the sound of them, they're still active.
There's a butterfly here on the wall. Just there, look. Yay! Some matches. <laughs> Have we got a light yet? And then uh oh, wait for it. Oh God, <laughs> what's gonna happen? You better hurry up. I know something bad. Oh, there's that glass there, look. Hang on. I should never have got into this pipe. It, whoa. <sighs> yeah, well, we, I knew that was there. Glass. Broken glass. Sharp as a razor. Impossible to go back. I'm gonna have to crawl through it, slowly, so I don't tear up my arms. match flame. It indicates where the fresh air comes from. All I have to do is follow the wind. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing? Stop! Oh, the janky controls. What is he doing? He keeps turning fucking around! Stop it! No, no, stop. For his head, look. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> It'd be nice if I got a different angle. Okay, so we're going left. No, left. Left. That's it. why they've made the controls so bad in this game. They're just so bad. I mean, I can't even look straight ahead. I can't... I've got this stupid view. Ah! Uh. Uh. 
Left. Left. We could be here a while, guys. draft. There's a slight draft. If I could figure out where it's coming from, it could lead me to the exit. Okay, so again, right. Come on. Come on, soldier, you can do it. I'm basically just doing one button presses, so I'm just pushing W on the keyboard and then pressing it again. I don't want to do it too fast in case he's... Oh, fuck's sake. More glass. choice <laughs> good luck bon voyage <laughs> Crazy shit. This guy is like, um, uh, what's that? What's that game called? Uh, not game. The uh, movie with the the guy that puts you in traps. Oh, that's such a good film. have a good look at each one of those condensers. If I choose the right route, I'll have a better chance of coming through this in one piece. Keep it together, Ethan. Come on! A field of electric condensers. I've got to go through them to reach that butterfly. Mm, okay. A um... butterfly. There's a butterfly over there. That's where I should go.
<laughs> Come on, we can do it. That was a tricky one. Left shift. Oh my god. I've got all my fingers on the keys. Okay, now I'm going to go forwards, this one. Right, let's wait for it. What are we pressing now? Z? E? B? What now? What now? Oh, shit! One more, I think. <sighs> Yay! Yay! We've done it! We've done it! That's quality. Alright. Rosenvelt. I think that bottom one is Rosenvelt. Well that wraps up that video, if you want to see more then check out the channel, until next time guys, see ya.